Hi, I'm Sanger and today we're going to be modeling your hoodie. So to start with open up Blender, delete all the starting objects. Go file, import, .fbx. Locate your base mesh. I'm going to start with the male base mesh. Make sure you get the ignore leaf bones option checked. And open up your model. Select the upper body, tab into edit mode, and then select all the faces of the part that we want to extrude to be the hoodie. So that's going to be all the way to the wrist, all the way to the waist, all the way to the neckline. Now we've got them selected, you can go ahead and press Alt and E. Extrude faces along normals. Extrude that a bit to give it some thickness. And then I want to bring these uh, the ends of the sleeves back down, so it's like there's a uh, some sort of banding at the end. So now, if you scale and if you press Shift X, that's going to scale on all the axes except for the X axis. Also going to add the same kind of banding around the bottom. So now we just want to go in and add some more features that make it look like a baggy hoodie. So make the make the clothing a bit more looser on the body. Same on the arms too. Let's control R to put in the loop cuts. Scale them up. And then G and then G again. And that's just gonna slide the edges down the perpendicular edges. I'll put that in. I'm going to pull these elbows out a little bit. There we go, now we can start with the hood. So, here you want to select all the parts where you want the hood to be extruded from. Press K to go into the knife tool and we can select create some edges along these polys here. And then select those faces. Now we can extrude that. In fact, instead of extruding we can put Alt E and extrude along normals. Alright. Now we want to lift this back part up a bit more. And find the area where we want it to be placed.
Uh, now it's quite angular, we want to round off the shape so we can put a loop cut around the side. Scale that and move it out a bit. So we can move it down. So it's always a case of checking over over the shape, making sure you're happy with that. Um, another suggestion I have is that you click on this drop down here and go on to statistics. Here we're going to see the triangle count. So whilst we're in edit mode, we're seeing the triangle count for just this object that was selected, which is the upper body. So at the minute we're at 1,224 triangles. Our limit is 1,500, so we've got to make sure we're staying within that, and that's including the hands as well. So here there's a lot of geometry that needs to be here, so we can select these and then press M and merge them at last, and that's going to combine them all together and land them on the last point we selected. I've added a shortcut here for 6, you can do that by right clicking if you want to also. So from now I'm going to press the 6 to do these, these kind of merges. And same over here as well. Select all them. M for merge at last. Right. I think I'll do these ones also. Right, now we want to add in some uh, sharp lines, some sharp edges. So select all the edges you want to be sharp around where the, the hood and the hoodie join is a good place to do it and especially around the actual lip of the, the hood where it goes inwards. That's another good place to put a sharp. And we're also going to want them around these bands on the wrist. There's some dodgy stuff going on here, we'll fix those in a second. So once all of them are selected, right click, go ahead and go mark sharp. Alright, so let's sort out these parts over here. Missed lines here as well that I need to make sharp. Not sharp. And same on the other side as well. Even add in a little pocket, I guess. So to do this, I'll just extrude that out. And then we're going to merge back all these lines. Again, that's M, merge it last, or you can add that into a shortcut. Oops. And 
add this in here. Now I'm just going to make these edges sharp, just so pockets more visible then. And there we have it, that's how to model your hoodie. So I'll catch you in the next one.